I have been vibe coding to the max on this project, which I will probably never finish, just like all my 100 other projects I have in my repos. But let me just go ahead and demo it so I have yet another video to publish on my YouTube channel. So we got a nice hero banner, which took me like 10 or 20 attempts to vibe code this 3D, 3JS visualization. I thought this is a pretty cool addition, but in all honesty, all this is going to do is completely lock up someone's phone and their browser because the Lighthouse scores are probably going to be zero for everything across the board. But we're not going for performance, we're going for aesthetics. All right, let's scroll down. I got this nice green neon. I've been going for all these different buttons. I thought it's pretty good. I don't really know. You guys can tell me if it sucks or not. Let me go ahead and hide my face. Got some buttons in the top right, pretty standard. Every section you're seeing here, basically vibe coded, right? I, I no longer even know how to code. I just let AI code it all for me. At this point, I'm like a director of a movie. I basically tell the AI what to build and it just builds it, right? It's a beautiful thing. I don't have to actually do anything other than talk to cursor and have it just add in features. We got all of the modules of this course displayed over here and a user can click one of them to go and actually watch the video. Of course, I didn't upload a video to this segment for this demonstration I'm getting because why would I plan for my videos? So this is just gonna be a blank video in that little demonstration. Let me also demo what happens if you click on a premium video. So like, for example, some of my modules have videos that you have to pay for to view. So if you click on this, it goes to a page and it says you must buy now. If you click on this, it takes you to a purchase page. I need to spruce this one up. Why not just vibe code this to make it a little bit nicer, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just vibe code this real quick. Go ahead and improve my purchase page to follow a similar design. Luckily, I have a prompt already kind of in my history that I did like every single page with. I, des I designed some color palettes and then I just used the same color palette and I said, make this page look like the home page. Make this other page look like the home page. Style this other purchase page to look like the home page. And it's magical. It just does all the work for me. I don't even have to think. It's a beautiful thing. The worst part about it is you have to eagerly wait for the results to pop up. But when it does, you can go ahead and accept it. It's kind of like playing the lottery or playing gambling. You never know if you're going to get a good result, which is why it's so addicting. Like it looks like it's going to be good. Like we got some output streaming up, but when you accept it and you go back to the page, you never know. But this one looks pretty good. I mean, they applied the nice little green neon and the green purchase. So I mean, there's some things I'd probably change about this, like centering these. Are you sure these features shouldn't be centered? What other UX slash marketing things would you put on this pricing card? Sometimes it's nice to ask AI and it's gonna like generate all this information. And then I just change it to be agent mode and I say, okay, cool, now apply what you just said to my code, right? It's as simple as that. You let the AI do all the thinking and then you tell it, you command it to apply your changes and then you're cooking, right? It's so simple. I'm telling you, when these models can generate results in like milliseconds, like it's gonna be game over. Um, go ahead and apply to my purchase page. I think I've officially crashed out. I mean, I'm just, I'm just embracing cursor at this point. I don't care if people call me a slop coder. Anyway, let me go back and show you like some other goodies that I added to this. So I have some listeners. So when you scroll into this snippet of code, it, it adds like a typewriter effect, which, you know, it didn't take me too long to add. I think it took me maybe like 20 seconds to prompt and 10 seconds to click enter. And I got the results pretty fast. So I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty quick turnaround time from the AI model there. I'll give it a pat on the back. Let's scrolling down. We got some fake testimonials from people I don't know. AI just threw in some random pictures for me and made it neon green like I asked. So I, I guess I could probably ask it to add like a carousel or just add six because, you know, having like six different testimonials is probably better than three. All right, if we keep scrolling, we got this nice little start your react journey section. Again, we got this cool little hover effect and it has some fake information about the course I'll never finish. But let's go ahead and click on buy now and check out that pricing page, which Whoa, this actually looks uh, pretty good. This actually did a really good job. Remember the prompt that we did a little while ago? And then we told it to apply it using agent mode. This was the result. And it looks like something taken straight out of Mark Liu's starter kit website. You know, it just has all the necessities of a snake oil salesman marketing page. We got the stars up here for 500 plus students I don't actually have. We got all this cool stuff, certificate of completion. 
which I do have. I have a little certificate of completion page, so it must have read through my code base and understood that. We got some fake reviews from people that we've never heard about in the world from companies that don't even exist. And we have, of course, the money back guarantee because we all know that you're not actually going to watch the course that you buy. You're gonna watch the first five videos and then you're gonna go back to watching TikToks like everyone else. But if you buy it now, you will have a secure payment with Stripe, which is pretty good. Um, limited time offer, man, they, they put in all the buzzwords here. Good job, Claude 3.5, 3.7. I don't know which one it used, but whichever one it used, I am impressed with. All right, let's keep scrolling. Okay, so we have a subscribe section. Every website needs this. If you're trying to sell and market something to somebody, you need their email so you can spam their spam email box at least seven times a week with your new updates and your new pricing and your new coupon codes. This is the way to do it. So make sure you have this. Some people would probably even put it, you know, you might even want to replace the hero page with a subscription because that's how important it is to have someone's email so you can keep on blasting them with marketing emails. But we're going to put it at the end because I respect my customers. And then finally, we have a frequently asked questions page. Honestly, with information I probably copied from another inspiring course platform from Aaron Francis. So I need to go through here and fix this copy before he decides to get mad at me. Um, I only did it because you have like one of the coolest course platforms I've ever seen. So I'm doing it because I respect you, not because I want to copy you. But I do need to change this. So let's go to FAQ and say, please change the copy of this because I actually copied it from another website I found. We don't actually want to copy. We want to let AI copy for us. Okay, so we're going to have AI probably go and scan through its data models and find a page that has an FAQ section and copy the content from that and put it into my code base. But it's going to be different enough that I won't get in trouble, right? This right now, this, this wording is verbatim from another website, so that's not good. All right, now we have a brand new set of FAQs. Uh, I've been asked these quite a lot by all of my subscribers, honestly, for this course I'm never gonna finish. And so I might as well put those in this section so you guys have a good understanding of what you're getting into when you buy one of my courses. By the way, if you all wanna see a real course platform and sign up for something that's gonna teach you probably something better than I can, go check out High Performance SQLite. Uh, this is a course by Aaron Francis. You should all know him by now. He does like Laravel PHP stuff, pretty cool guy. Uh, but you'll see there's a lot of inspiration from his website that I use in what I'm demoing right now. If you go and actually click on these, I don't think I've ever seen a course that has like all the, the content out here that tells you what's free. You can click it and then it takes you to watch that video. Like that's like these people are marketing geniuses. If you want to go and uh, check out his course, it's kind of expensive. So, I mean, you have to be like a true engineer to be able to pay for this. Uh, but I'll put the link in my description if you want to go check it out. Maybe show some support there. He has one for SQLite. I also think he has one for like Postgres or something. Um, I don't know. He should probably link to it if he does because I don't see a link to it anywhere. And by the way, I'm not affiliated with this course at all. This isn't like a sponsored video for his course. I think I just said like a mean thing once on Twitter and I just feel bad. And so I'm trying to just pay my respects because I appreciate Aaron Francis. He's a cool guy. But let's kind of demo the course platform right over here on the left. You have the side navigation for you know, your different modules or your like your your groupings of videos. And then once you expand a module, you can go in, watch the video. I don't actually have a video, so let me actually go and edit this. This is actually uploading files to S3 um, locally. So if I were to go and just grab one of these, let's just grab this AWS one. Now I do have some really hacky user authorization setup. Basically, I'm just checking if you're webdevcody at gmail.com then you're going to be an admin and then certain buttons are going to show up for you, right? So it kind of makes me feel a little special. I can come in here and modify stuff and add new segments. Let's actually pretend like we are not an admin and we just want to kind of go through. So I have over here, you'll notice there's no checkbox, right? When you click on next video, it'll go ahead and put a check mark there so that the user knows that they finished the course. I thought it was a pretty cool thing to add in. Um, and eventually when you get to the very end, uh, there should be a conclusion, like a course finish page. I don't know if I'll be able to get there because I'm not uh, premium. Let me go ahead and just change this to true and save that. By the way, this tooling is Tables Plus. I recommend it. It's, I'm using the free version, um, which kind of sucks because you can only have like two tabs open at a time. But 
I find it really nice to be able to open up a SQLite database or a Postgres database, my SQL database to modify some stuff. Let me not give them too much free publicity because they didn't pay me for that. So let's just go back and uh, refresh. Okay, so now we are premium. So these videos unlock and this is the cool page. You guys ready for this? When I complete the course, it takes you to a nice certificate page. We've got some confetti that rains down. Every application needs a little bit of confetti. And then finally we have again, get their emails because you want to market your next course to them. Okay, so make sure you get their emails. I mean, honestly, every page of your application should probably have like a subscribe email input. It's just, it just makes logical sense. Honestly, like a pop-up or a banner or something, you wanna get their emails because that is the society that we live in. And of course, you can follow me at the bottom. We got Twitter, which I don't use anymore because screw that platform. We got GitHub and we also have Discord, right? which uh, you guys can come talk to me there. I probably won't respond because I never actually go on Discord that much and my community is slowly dying. So yeah, that's the overview of this application. Hope you guys enjoyed. I want to have a little bit of fun making this video. I want to use my sarcasm to the max in this video. And if you guys enjoyed it, maybe I'll make more videos like this. If not, I'll still do whatever the heck I want to do on my uh, channel anyway. Have a good day. Happy coding.